Hello everyone and my name is Chirag. So today we are going to discuss a very important topic in Cypress. So in every tool, in every framework, the data driven testing is very mandatory and important as it play very important part to validate our application with different data. So how we can do data driven testing in Cypress? We are going to see this data driven testing in this video so let me open my visual studio and you can see the fix fixture is a folder uh, let me close all other folder so this is the fixture folder as i already discussed with you by using fix fixture folder we can put our test data under in this folder and we can validate our application through different test data so how we can do let me create one test script under integration folder under test case and we'll create a new test script that is data driven dot dot js so first i will give describe giving the test suit dd testing and provide a function this is a syntax which we are following in cypress and under this we will create a test case test data now I'm going to create a test case by using mocha syntax. Now let me open google.com. So what my so what my let me open google.com what my test case so my test case is i will enter a keyword by using data driven right so this is my test scenario so let me open google.com copy the syntax cy dot visit and before this what I know, do, I have to get X path and provide a X path value and there is type C Y type. So this is there is a data which I need to pass. So how can I need to pass? So we will see this. So what I do, I already discussed that there is some hook in my previous video that Mocha give some hook to Cypress by using uh, that hook we can well uh, we can customize our test cases right. So before each hook is used when we need to when we need to do something before my test case run right. So it will run before my test case run so let me create a function of it and by using now i will create a file json file under fixture folder so this is words dot json file and will put any keywords here so what put my keywords data one Chirag. data to free or 
automation learning so what i do i create a json file by passing key value and data one is when i use data one then it will pass chirag when i use data two then it will pass free automation learning right so this is my test data file so what i do i just call cy dot fixture and pass keywords right after then i need to use then and pass any data after that i use moco syntax by using moco syntax what i do this dot is equal to data right so what i'm doing i'm passing i just pass all the i just all load all the uh, my keywords in data then i put that data into key so by using this i just pass this key in here by using this dot key and if i need to pass data one then i will put data one so i can pass same value so if i was i'm passing key here by using this syntax so this key will have all the data by using data one i can pass chirag so we will see whether this code is running or not in my test case is cypress runner and data d1 is here now i will run and see whether it will pass chirag or not so it is loading so it's finding some a value before is each we take the keywords okay keyword is not defined so what i do okay i need to put under Now I will see and they see that whether it will pass Chirag or not by using fixture. So it currently it is loading and by mistake I put diff incorrect x path. Now I will run again. And we'll see so this is a silly type mistake which i'm doing here so you can see that chirac has been passed right now if i put data 2 and run then i will see whether it is passing free automation learning or not so you can see free automation learning is passing right so this is the way how we can use data driven testing by using cypress so in this video i'm just uh, wanted to show this topic and in other video we will see how we can add common method in cypress so that we can use that common method in my entire framework so thank you for watching this video bye bye take care